in this lecture snippet, I want to focus in on the activation of Windows Server 2012 and basically changing the product key if you install it. Now, if you buy the computer, a computer with Server 2012 on it, more than likely it's already going to be activated for you. However, if you do an install yourself, you're going to have to change the product key and activate it. And so what I've got here, I've, I've logged into Windows Server 2012, it's the default installation of it. And I'm going to go down to the start screen or, and so I can go to the bottom left corner of my mouse and pull up the start screen or I can hit the window key on my keyboard and pull up the start screen. And what I want to look for is the computer and I want to right click on computer. And I'm going to go down to properties. And this is the spot in Windows 7, if you're familiar with, with Windows 7 or Server 2012, you used to go here in order to actually activate and change the activation code of your operating system. However, you'll notice that that option is not no longer present and I can see that it's not activated at the moment down here at the bottom and I do not have an option to change my product code. So where do I go to change my product code now? Well here's the option. I can either go to the PowerShell or I can open up the command prompt and I'm actually going to go down to the command prompt this time and so while I'm back here on the start screen I'm going to type in CMD on my keyboard and you can see the command prompt is here. And I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and I'm actually going to pin it to my taskbar so that I have it but I'm now going to go ahead and click on command prompt and open it up. So you want to open the command prompt as an administrator and the first option that we're going to do is you can type in SLUI and then space and the number three and this is going to go ahead and run a graphical interface for us that's going to allow us to put in the product key and this looks familiar so now I can actually type in my product key for Windows and uh, whatever it ends up being go ahead and activate it uh, based off of your product key. So this is one option for you to type in for a product key. And Of course I did not type in a valid product key, but you could type it in here and then activate your operating system. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. There is another option if you want to do it all through the command line and not have a graphical interface. You can type in the slmgr dot vbs and then what we're going to do now is we're going to add the options IPK and then we're going to follow this by the actual product key itself. So you would want to type in the product key after this. And so this would also activate it for you. So slmgr.vbs-ipk and then followed by the product key. And if you hit enter, this would then change your product key for you. So those are the two options for changing the product key in Windows Server 2012.